Good afternoon, everybody. It's uh, about two minutes after two. So um, we're uh, ready to get started. Um, I'm excited today to um, um, work today on this webinar and present today on this webinar with Freedom Electronics. Um, I'm gonna kick things off. My name's Mike White. I'm the Senior Vice President of Sales at Sound Payments. Um, just to give you a little bit of a background on me, um, I've been in the Petro C business um, my whole life. So Petro C and car wash, beginning um, at the age of 15, pumping gas in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Um, just done about just about everything from pumping gas, working in convenience stores, managing territories, um, selling into convenience stores, um, owning um, convenience stores, gasoline stations, and subway franchises, um, and working in the car wash business for the last 12 years before joining um, Sound Payments. Um, I think this is such an exciting opportunity um, to be able to offer a great value um, for your EMV upgrade. As I looked at this and talk about it, you know, this EMV upgrade um, requirement is a tremendous expense, uh, capital expense with no return on investment. And I think that's, um, that's a tough pill to swallow. So um, Sound Payments has really hit the nail on the head and our partners Freedom have taken it kind of to the next level. So we're excited today to kind of go through this desk, the, the, uh, the deck of uh, slides, um, and we'll take your questions at any time. So um, I want to introduce Bob Shepard, Freedom Electronics. So for those of you that don't know, Freedom Electronics is, uh, provides quality parts and new products to support the retail petroleum market and independent station owners. Our newest product includes Easy Pump, an affordable solution for outdoor EMV compliance and the new FE printers to reduce printer inventory. We also offer enhanced core management for our customers. So Bob Shepard will be my partner today. Um, let me tell you a little bit about Bob and then he can chime in when he jumps in. Bob Shepard was a project lead for the original CRIN system, which is card reader and dispenser. Um, that goes back a long time, Bob, um, uh, for the MPD3s. Um, before he became the product manager for, for the new pump called The Advantage, after 28 years at Gilbarco, working in engineering, production, channel marketing, product development, sales, and international business development, he moved to Freedom Electronics. He enjoys working with his colleagues at Freedom, has talked with many PEI distributors, distributor presidents, about increasing their profitability and feels as a partnership with Sound Payments brings an affordable EMV solution for the small business person. So with that, we'll um, get started. So who are we, right? So give you a little bit of Information on Sound Payments is a multi channel diversified technology company that provides cost effective cloud based solutions to the petroleum retail industry. So, uh, what we have developed is a secure payment solution that meets the EMV standards, which the deadline was actually in April. Um, so, we're all challenged with that right now. Um, we provide world-class competitively priced solutions, um, software and support service. So not only are we providing just the hardware and the software, but we've got a world-class support organization uh, that supports 24 seven, our partners um, and our end users. We have, part, we have been fortunate enough to partner with some of the industry's best distributors, resellers and installation um, and installers of the in the petroleum convenience store technologies. Um, what we are not is an ISO a gateway or a payment processor. So uh, we separate ourselves from that piece of the business and partner with ISOs um, and, and payment processors um, 
so that we're not in that side of the business. We're very um, focused on our side of the business and that's building the solutions. So what's the importance of EMB? So first of all, it's required. Beyond the requirement, EMB is a, significantly reduces the risk of fraud and chargebacks. Um, and I think we're starting to see, um, or at least I'm starting to hear about more and more chargebacks hitting, uh, hitting them up. And that's uh, the population of, um, of EMV cards is increasing significantly. And so the, the uh, bag stripe cards are still around. Um, and when they're being used and there's fraud, that's a charge back to you guys. And as you all know, you know, previously the financial institutions were um, absorbing that and having that responsibility. But uh, as of April 17th, uh, that, that um, liability has shifted to the, uh, to the marketers and to the, excuse me, to the merchants. Um, and, you know, it, it can be a substantial cost that we really don't need to deal with. Um, and I guess this year, this is a, a statistic that came out that, you know, expect more than $450 million in fraud. That's a, that's a lot of money. Um, so just to, um, to be fair, kind of run through all the different, I, I guess, options that you have, have, right? You can buy a new uh, EMV pump, pump with EMV on it. You can buy a manufacturer's retro kit from Wayne or Gilbarco. Um, you can buy a new pump and add EMV to it with a retrofit kit. You can buy used pumps with a third-party retrofit, or you can buy a third-party retrofit kit from, from someone like Freedom or us. Um, so just to describe our business and the relationships, we sell through partners. We sell through partners and distributors. We support our partners and distributors through that process. Um, to talk a little bit, you know, just about the overall cost and disruption in your business with some of the other solutions, um, a new EMV pump requires you to tear everything out. Um, when you start tearing everything out in any of these options where you have to start breaking concrete and tearing stuff out, you get into um, the piping and, you know, that stuff can become very costly. So to say that replacing a pump is 15, 18, $19,000, that's really just the beginning. So um, we think we got a great solution for the smaller marketer to help avoid some of those potential catastrophes and massive amounts of capital that it takes to get those new dispensers installed. And you know, with no return on investment, it's, it, it's really prevention um, uh, to prevent chargebacks. That's where we need to be. So a couple of things to consider, right? With uh, the solution that Freedom and Sound Payments is um, um, showing you today, so the price benefit is uh, substantial, right? We're lowering the equipment costs, uh, no loss of revenue. I mean, I think the big deal is how long it takes, right? If you're the uh, major um, dispenser guys with their retrofits, they take, a, they take a tremendously long time because of the integration that they have to do and what they have to do to that dispenser. In addition to the software upgrades that you may need um, inside, with your POS. So um, the process that we have um, cuts that time from, you know, from maybe a week or maybe longer, depending whether you're ripping out dispensers or not, to a couple days or a day, depending on how many dispensers you have. That's significant for, um, for uh, petroleum retailers, you know. So we think that's uh, probably one of the largest benefits. Uh, the system benefits are, you know, just the ret retrofit kits um, just slide into your existing equipment. We reduce the PI, PCI scope um, because now that that transaction isn't traveling all the way around your whole location. Um, we're, we're reducing that and your PCI compliance is um, stays in place. And then like I talked about, the installation benefits are the hours versus weeks or months, days, weeks, and months. 
um, and the ability to phase upgrade the EMV by individual pumps. So keeping other pumps open while you're um, installing um, at uh, a dispenser. So how can you upgrade at a lower price? Um, so, you know, we're at the end of the day, us with freedom, about a third of the price of the other solution, we easily integrate. We support EMV and Magstripe and contactless pay at the pump. Uh, so to give you more options at the pump than probably you have today, simplified implementation reduces the cost, secure semi-integrated, eliminates the cost of managing ongoing solutions, certifications, and coming up with technology enhancement. Um, at the end of the process, you own the equipment. We provide the software upgrades as you go along. And we'll also be, we're working towards in the future, being able to provide other options that can allow you to grow your business. So whether that's loyalty, subscriptions, other things that we can do in the internet of things to bring you the opportunity to um, grow your business. So I'm going to turn it over to Bob now. Um, and like I said at the beginning, Freedom Electronics is our um, is a preferred partner of Sound Payments. Um, they make it happen, and I'm excited for Bob to take you through their process. Well, thank you, Mike. If you could please uh, please enable uh, screen sharing, and uh, I'll take it from there. But uh, I guess the, the first thing for everybody out there is if you have any questions at any point, please just type it in and we'll, uh, you know, we will try to uh, answer them as we go along. Um, but the most important thing is what we're going to do is try to answer your questions. And so the next couple slides are basically questions that people ask me in the booth. And so we're going to try to uh, answer your favorite questions. Yeah, the first one. And the most common thing I, I get when people ask me is, you know, is it really affordable? And with Easy Pump, I'm telling you, it's it's affordable. If we look at the cost of a new pump, if we look at the cost of an OEM kit on a 10-year-old pump, people wilt like it's 108 degrees outside. We are able to give you something that really extends the life of your pumps because you're looking at uh, you know, roughly 3,540 a month or 4,540 a month. This enables a lot of people out there to put this solution on their old advantages, vistas, what have you, okay? That's important because as Mike pointed out, there are some times when you don't have plans on keeping that site for 10 years or there are people that uh, you know that look at it and say, "I'm not ready to buy a new pump, and I'm not going to put nine thousand dollars on a you know fifteen year old pump. What do I do in the meantime? This is your answer. And when you do that, not only does it happen quickly and easily, but you also get contactless as part of this. It it's free. It comes in there and it works. This is important because people want contactless. It's something that uh, your, your customers are going to enjoy. It goes, makes the transaction faster and you get it as part of the solution. Next slide, please. Um, All right, hopefully we can see my screen now. Good. So the next question people ask is, is it right for my site? And, you know, I'll say it depends on your site, but the easy way to do that is just say, what network are you on? Are you working on first data bypass, Wells 351, HPS? If yes, that's a good start. 
then we're going to ask you whether you've got a verifone pause or a way infusion. If yes, that's a good start. There are a lot of people out there with, uh, with passports. And uh, believe me, we're working on getting a solution for those next. But today we work on the, the verifones and the Wayne Fusion. And lastly, what kind of pumps do you have? Yeah, we work on Advantage Encore 300, 500, 500, S, 700, Wayne Vista, 123, Innovation 1. That hits most of the pumps that have been built since 1991. Hopefully we're not gonna put any on anything older. And lastly, how fast do you need it? Because if you need it now, if chargebacks are growing, then you probably wanna act now. I hit, I talked to somebody at the Texas show uh, you know, less than two months ago. He got hit with an $8,000 chargeback. $8,000 chargeback would have paid the majority of his site had he gone to uh, uh, you know, easy pump. For the people out there who say, you know, I'm an installer, what do I need to do? Or, hey, I've got a company I work with that installs it. Let me tell you, we work with most people out there. Uh, Freedom already works with a, most of the service companies. Uh, we supply them all sorts of parts and we will supply them uh, uh, the easy pump kits. The key thing here is we want to work with your service provider. The key thing for them is we do want them to be a Verifone authorized service contractor or a VASC. It's easy to install. Most of the technicians that we've talked to, they say, oh yeah, that's easy. I've programmed Verifone hundreds of times. This is simple. For the people that have installed it, Everyone that's installed it says, whoa, that was faster than I thought. Why? Because we've made the kit easy. We've included everything that they need in it. So when they get out on the island, they pull parts out, they put it on, and the, the pump part of the install is done quickly. The step-by-step -step instructions on Verifone go quickly. And they say, oh, darn. That was a whole lot easier. And now I can go spend my afternoon during service calls where if you look at uh, you know, somebody doing an OEM install, they'd use the whole day. They would definitely use a whole day and they plan for a long one. Question is, does this work on tokine pumps? No, it does not. Um, I would say that uh, you can install it, but we do not have the kits uh, to put on tokine pumps. Service is always a big question. Look, when we see EMV pumps out there, uh, Freedom Electronics sells a lot of equipment for EMV pumps. And the one thing that I will tell you is that EMV equipment is a lot more expensive. When I say a lot more expensive, I mean a lot, a lot more expensive. So the one thing I want to point out with, uh, with Easy Pump is that there is one terminal that's your service item. And that one terminal is less than either a card reader uh, from either Gil Barco or Lane. So your service charges are a lot easier to troubleshoot because there's one replacement part, and it's less expensive. Uh, and it's also less expensive than either SPM or UPM uh, if you're looking at the keypads. Those are the items that tend to go out a lot, and this is less. Oh, and don't even get me started on the 10.4 inch color screens and the multi thousand dollars for those, but you don't have that with Easy Pump. But what you do have is help from someone who's been there. We've been on the island and installed it. The helpline, you know, Jeff uh, has been out there and installed these. He knows what you go through. He's installed hundreds of Verifone sites. He knows what you've been through. You get a pump that works designed by people who have been on the island and make sure that you've got what you need. 
that's always fun to have. Another question that we get is, why are there service fees? Well, there are service fees for a number of reasons. One is, it's our connection to you. We have to keep that alive so that you get your sales reports, you get the card transactions, you get the help desk, you get the real-time warranty. It allows us to push down uh, uh, software updates remotely. Shoot, if you're in New York, New Jersey, it helps with attendant tagging because you probably need that for your attendance. Um, and for the, the people that are looking into the rules of uh, PCI, not PCA, uh, PCI requires you keep track of the serial numbers of the items uh, that are involved in your PCI certification. We actually do that. So it makes that easy for you. Some people ask, can I finance it? Well, here's the good news. Yes, you can. Not only can you finance this uh, Easy Pump, but you can finance the installation of the Easy Pump. That makes it real easy to put it in. Now I've talked to uh, a few folks after May and June chargebacks came through. And most people were a couple hundred dollars after May chargebacks. June chargebacks were larger. And uh, that's when I uh, talked to you know, the, the one, uh, I'll say he was a Exxon branded guy, but uh, he got $8,000 uh, know, for his uh, June chargebacks. If you're looking at that sort of a number and you look at what leasing Easy Pump, even on a three-year uh, contract, it becomes a lot less than projected chargebacks going forward. I've read an Opus, I've read a Nexus. I'm, I look at the Nax online every day. And if you look at what the chargebacks, what they're projecting, uh, it's gonna be in a couple months, you can't afford not to convert to uh, EMV. So take a look at your site. And the question I ask is, you know, what's your time frame? Because if you're looking at chargebacks over the next couple of months and you know the OEM says 9,000 a kit and we'll get it to you in six months, there's another option. And that's what Easy Pump does for you. So sound payments and uh, you know, Freedom Electronics have put together, I think a package that's easy to work with, easy to finance, easy to use, and it lets you extend the life of your investment. So good stuff. I hope I, I sort of went through a number of the questions pretty quickly, uh, but what I wanted you to see is here are the basics of Easy Pump. If you wanna know more, go to our website and we've got all sorts of technical documents you can watch a complete install. It's about a five minute video to watch a complete install. You can see all the technical documents. You can learn about the system. You know, what's the background of it? What, uh, you know, how does it work? You know, what's the transaction flow? Uh, or feel free to call me, email me, call me, go to the website, fill out a form. Sound Payments has done an incredible job coming up with a system that's affordable, that works for the small site owner. I've talked to a number of jobbers that they may or may not have unbranded sites, but almost all of them have, uh, they deliver fuel to unbranded sites and they can pick out and say, oh, I know exactly these guys are gonna need a solution. And that helps them sign contracts. For, uh, for those of you out there who are a distributor, you sell uh, you know, pumps and dispensers and kits, if you have extra capacity, this allows you to get your service people out there. For those that uh, you know, have sites that are lower volume, smaller sites, this might be a solution for you that, uh, that helps keep that site profitable without a big uh, capital investment. 
So that is the most frequent questions I get. I'm going to throw it out to the, the crowd, whether it's for uh, um, uh, you know, me or for Mike. Send, a, uh, send us a question and we will try to answer it. I'll hang on the line. Mike will hang on the line. So, uh, there's, a, uh, there's a couple out there, Bob. Um, number one is, uh, let's see here. Um, can this presentation be made available uh, for attendance? Of course. Yeah, same here. Not a problem. Absolutely. And I see someone asked about, uh, you know, BP. Uh, right now we're doing unbranded sites. Uh, and uh, I, I will say that BP is one of those networks that probably will never get, uh, um, I won't say never. It might be a long, long time before we get to uh, a BP. Uh, I do hope that you're going to see in the next uh, couple months one or two uh, networks pop up. Uh, but um, yeah, sorry, not not for BP, not for Exxon, not for uh, Shell or Chevron. So what I would say, just a um, a quick comment for those of you that are branded, um, your recommendations go a long way. So when you're talking to your supplier, whether that's a jobber or whether you're supplied directly by a um, major oil company, um, mention the fact that there's a solution out there that fits um, you know, your budget that, that work, would work really well. And that um, you know, that's what get things moving. We don't... Um, we really don't have much say. They don't, you know, I don't want to say they don't care, but you guys have a bigger stick than we do. So when you're talking to your reps, your folks say, you know, we really, really want to upgrade E and V. We're not in a position to accept all these chargebacks and we really can't afford uh, spending 80 or a hundred thousand uh, dollars is uh, not possible. So um, that can be helpful. So uh, there's another question here. Understand you are working on passport, but do you have some possible estimated time available? Um, so as fast as we can, um, it's, um, we're working on it every single day. So we've got all the lab equipment set up. We're working through it. Um, and I, I don't like to give dates, but I would suspect, um, it won't be done this the third quarter, but it'll be, I'll give you a, it'll be done in the fourth quarter. Sometime in the fourth quarter, we we expect that we'll um, have that. And Mike, there's a question about when Sinclair will be ready. So good news, um, uh, we did four installs. Um, Last week, up in Oregon, they're Sinclair unbranded, but it was a, a great test for us to do these four sites um, from a um, finishing, completely finishing the branded Sinclair app. We're probably about a month away. Anybody else? Any other questions? Sure. Uh, here's one. Uh, if you are unbranded, can you stay with your existing processor? Uh, absolutely. Um, we're not, again, we're not in the processing business. Um, so if your existing processor is one of the uh, networks that we're approved with, um, you can stay with them. So that would be the first thing. So how this 
kind of the process and and um i'll give the first part of it and i'll let bob jump in and tell you how easy we've made the process once we once you've identified that you're interested in this product um we would like for you to do a a site survey the site survey will help us qualify that your location is good to go and that um we can move forward with it so if I'm receiving it, I would send this information over to Bob. And then Bob, I'll let you kind of take it from there and what you guys do because you, your process is um, really seamless and you make it so easy for this to get done. Yeah, I mean, the, as uh, Mike put it, there's there's three things that we're interested in. One is you know, your service uh, contractor, we, we want to know who they are and uh, we want them to fill out the site survey. Uh, once the site survey comes back, we just want to make sure that they understand the, you know, the software version of the Verifone, which MNSP uh, they have, and uh, you know, the layout of the site. Uh, so that's all part one. Uh, part two is uh, we have a, a you know, easy pump service agreement and uh, so you sign that and uh, send it in. And then uh, part three is uh, who the, the installer sends in an order for the equipment. And we send, uh, and just a couple days later, we send all the equipment out uh, to them and you're ready for the install. It's not that difficult. In fact, it's pretty easy. Any other questions? All right. All right. Well, everybody, thank you so much for attending. Um, I think you have um, all of our information. Um, if you need anything, feel free to contact us and we'll get you pointed in the right direction. Um, have a great rest of your day and a great rest of the week. Um, thank you for attending.